guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Sephora Play unboxing for June and July. I already took a peek at June's and there wasn't enough in there to do like a dedicated video just for that bag like there wasn't enough like face products that I could show you guys on camera so I think I'm just gonna start doing them um, like one video per two so one video for two months of it I hope that makes sense so for instance this is June and July so my next Sephora play video will be my August and September bags so let's see if that works out we'll see so if you would like to see what I got in my Sephora plays for June and July please keep watching Okay, so I honestly can't remember which bag is which month, but I want to say that this bag was June's month, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this. You know what doesn't make sense to me is like, I think these bags are cute and all, but if you're paying the same price as Ipsy and Ipsy gives you like some really cute like sturdy bags, like why can't Sephora Play do the same thing, right? Although I do think that this one is the cutest bag that I've gotten so far. I like it. So the first thing I have here is Benefit the Pore Professional Primer. I just recently tried this. I think I got one of my Sephora Play a couple months ago or my Ipsy bag. I think it was my Ipsy bag a couple months ago when I tried it for the first time and it was so good. Like the only other like pore filling primer I've tried is Dr. Brandt and that one was like my favorite but I think this one is better so... Next, I have the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. And I remember when this came out, I saw it on the Just Arrives list of the front page of Sephora, and I thought it was so intriguing and I really wanted to buy it. So I'm excited that I got a little sample size to try out first. It kind of looks like mine was already... Ew, mine like exploded. Gross. Ew. I don't think I've ever tried a moisturizing makeup primer before, like a two-in-one. smells pretty good. It has a light scent of coconut. It's not overwhelming at all, but as you can see, it's pretty thick, so we'll have to give that a try. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of shimmer. Sorry if you can hear that humming. This room that I film in is literally right, like the air conditioning unit is right outside this window because I'm using like natural light. Um, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry, that's pretty annoying. But yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of sheen in it, so I like that. Next, I have like probably my second or third favorite perfume sample, and this is the YSL Black Opium. If you haven't smelled this, it is so good. Like I said, it's definitely like my second or third favorite perfume. Next, I have a hair sample, and this is from Rich Kid, and this is the Coconut Oil Gel by IGK. I actually have the full size of this upstairs and I was a little disappointed because I have pretty natural curly hair so I like, I usually use, what is it? Hello Soft Curls I believe um, and I really like that but I like to use that and then when I wake up in the morning I spray my hair with some sea salt spray just because I want more texture and I did try this and I love how it smells I do think it's one of those scents that you either love it or you hate it like type of smell but I feel like this almost takes away like how curly my hair naturally is and like I don't know if I like it, but I just keep using it because I really honestly just like the way it smells. So yeah, the back of it just says apply to clean damp hair and then you let it air dry and it's supposed to give you like frizz free curls and some hydration. So the next thing, which is always exciting, is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade K-Dub. Oh, wow. You know what? This might look good with my outfit right now. Look at that. That's like perfect for summer. And the last thing in my bag for June is the Way Hair Care Rose Hair and Body Oil. And it looks like this. I'm pretty sure this is fairly new. And Jen Atkind, I think is her name, is the hairstylist that always does the Kardashians hair. And then she came out with her own line. And this says the luxurious, fast absorbing rose hair and body oil is silicone free fusion of nutrient rich oils from all over the world the illuminating hair and skin is restores moisture oh that illuminates hair and skin and restore restores moisture it doesn't have any direction so i guess you just use it let's put some in oh it's really runny oh it smells good probably 
probably should have made sure that liquid lipstick was dry before I started touching my hair. I just used one pump. I think it makes my hair look nice. It smells really good. It has like a sweet rose smell. So I love hair oil. I might have to get the normal big size when this is done. So that's everything from my June Sephora play. So let's move on to my July Sephora play. And this is what the bag looks like. And I peeked in this and I think there's like, there's like a really big sample size in there. The first thing in the bag is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I have tried this before and I remember the first time I tried it, I really liked it because it was kind of like a drier mascara so I feel like it made my lashes look longer but then I noticed it flaked a bunch like during the day so I don't know if maybe mine was just like older or whatever but I'm definitely up to trying it again. And look at this. This is like a heavy duty little card they put it in. It says that it gives you super volume, super length, and super elastic stretch. The next thing is the perfume sample. And ooh, I think I got this once. It's the Orange Sanguine by Ulterior Cologne. And it just came in this package. I'm pretty sure I got this once and didn't like it. So the next thing is from Bare Minerals. And it's the Gin Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color. I've seen this girl all over Instagram. She kind of took over like last summer. Her name's Rocky Barnes. And I think she has such like a unique look. She's so pretty. And I know I bought a bunch of these Bare Minerals Gin Matte Nude lipsticks during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. They were on sale for $10 a piece. And so they were half off because I think normally they're 20. I still need to try them, but I think I might still do my 21 Days of Ulta Beauty haul. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Just give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so let's swatch this. This is in the color Swag. And it's just a flat doe foot. It smells so good. Ooh, pretty. I wonder if I bought this one during that sale. I'm sure I did. So it's a nice, like, your lips but better color, I think. And it would be a really good, like, everyday color. Or also a shade that you could probably wear with any eye look. Next, I have the Milk Makeup Cooling Stick. And I bought the full size of this and I used it. And it made my under eyes, like, itch really bad. And I got, like, a rash. So I don't know if it's just because maybe it didn't mix well with the moisturizer I had on my face or I was allergic to it and I went ahead and took it back anyways because I was miserable for like three days. So I'm not sure if I'm going to give this thing a try again. I don't think so. Just to be on the safe side, I'll probably just give it away. But I do think the idea of this is like super cool even though it looks like a little tiny stick of deodorant and I'm really sad it didn't work for me. But next I have the Brige... I've heard this before, Briogeo, Briogeo, something like that. And it's the Roscaro Milk. Oh my God. Can I even speak English? I don't even know. But this is the Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I feel like I have this upstairs, like from an Ipsy. I feel like I'm getting a few things from Ipsy now in my Sephora play. I don't know, like... But I know I've seen this before and I'm pretty sure it's upstairs. I did use it a couple times and I really liked it. So I saved the best for last because this size is huge. This is the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding Intensive Wash Off Treatment. Look how big this is. This is like a deluxe, deluxe, deluxe sample size. This is definitely like the biggest thing I've ever gotten in a Sephora play. So the instructions on this, it says it's a two-part pore pudding powered by black and white charcoal, minimizes the appearance of pores while balancing skin. To use, scoop onto face and blend together to distribute thin layer all over or targeted areas as needed. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse with clean, warm water. I'm really excited to try this. I think out of all of June and all of July, like this is the thing I'm most excited for. Okay guys, that concludes my Sephora play for June and July. I'm excited for some of these things in there. And then, like I said, a couple of the things I've already tried that I know I already love. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more of me. And I will see you guys in my next video.